G'day guys, welcome to another video tutorial. In this video we're going to have a look at structure charts and how they're set up and we're going to have a go at reading one and describing the order of operations of the processes that occur. So let's jump to the situation that we're going to have a look at. So a business is invoiced for supplies from its vendors and a structure chart below models the tasks involved in processing and paying these invoices. And we want to describe in order the processing that's incur occurring in this structure chart. So we can see at the top, process invoicing. This is our top level of our structure chart. And this is the main task or the main description that we could say is occurring here. And that's broken down into two sub-processes, verify invoice and pay invoice. In terms of order of these processes, we read a structure chart from left to right bottom to top. So we can say that this ha happens here, verify invoice happens before pay invoice. But we need to pay attention that verify invoice is further broken down into two sub-processes again. So verify invoice is broken down into enter details and then compare purchase with uh, purchase order. So based on that, we can say that the very first process that runs in this program is over on the far side here, enter details. This is the very first thing that happens. The second thing that happens is going to be the compare purchase with order. And both of those things, once they've run, that means that verify invoice has finished running. We can also see that on the diagram or the chart that once we enter the details being passed back up to verify invoice is the invoice details as a parameter and we can also see that the invoice details are being passed down as an argument to the compare purchase order and a control parameter is being passed back up to see if the invoice is okay. So once the invoice has been verified, being returned is the vendor, the due date as a parameter. And we can see that this is being repeated as shown by this little arrow wrapping around the line there. So that means this process could be repeated multiple times, presumably for multiple invoices. Now down the right hand branch, this will get executed after verify invoices. And again, we're gonna read this from left to right. So we can see that pay invoice is broken down into determine payment to make and also into generate check. And we can see that each of those is again broken down. So if we just stick with the leftmost branch, because we know that gets executed first, we know that determine payment to make first, it will need to check the due date, then it will need to see if there's available funds. Now, there's a few more symbols that's being introduced here, and let's have a quick look at those. So down the left-hand side, we can see the invoice date being passed down, and we can be seeing returned as a control parameter if that date is okay. Now, the little symbol on the diagram here indicates that a decision is being made, and normally they're linked with the control parameter that's being passed back up. So if the date is okay, then this optional process here, this is optional because the square tells us it's optional. We can run it with the invoice amount and see if the funds are okay. And if the funds are okay, they get returned to determine payment to make. And that's gonna return a control parameter okay to pay. And once that's finished running, we can move down to the right hand branch and we can see generate check. Now generate check is broken down into two smaller processes again. Convert amount into words and print check. And it's going to run the same as always left to right. So convert amount to words will run first and it's being passed the amount and it's returning the amount in words. And then that's passed to generate check. Generate check 
passes the details and then runs the process print check. And I've glossed over a bit here but the payment details that were being returned and created they're being passed down and of course we can see this repetition up the top here which means we're going to repeat this branch over and over again so presumably again because we might want to pay multiple invoices. See you in the next video.